Douglas mulberry. This is a tree that is commonly cut back to stubs, often referred to as pollarding, which is not actually the true meaning of the word pollarding, but a lot of people believe that that's the correct way to prune these trees, cutting them back to absolutely nothing. Now if you look up inside the canopy of this tree, you can see where this tree was cut back harshly in the past. It's been quite a few years, but unfortunately a lot of these areas are now beginning to become decay pockets. You can see all the decay up in there. And what that means is that this tree cannot um, be allowed to get too large. If it gets too wide, some of these areas of weakness will cause failures. So while I'm not recommending cutting this tree all the way back to these stubs again, I am recommending cutting it back moderately hard, but leaving it presentable. And unfortunately, that's going to become an annual event for this tree. Now we pruned this tree back last year and the cut line is right up in through here. We had to get it back away from the roof and we, we shaped the tree all the way around. And we're going to have to do a similar type of pruning again this year. It is really one of the world's largest weeds. But uh, uh, when I do run across a mulberry tree that has never been butchered and never been harshly pruned, they can be absolutely beautiful specimen trees, incredible shade trees, and not nearly as high maintenance. So if you choose to put in a mulberry tree, a fruitless mulberry, um, you might want to consider not cutting it back the way everyone's going to tell you it needs to be cut back. Uh, you allow it to shape out the way it's supposed to and, and have a normal, natural framework, it can be a real asset. In this case, it's a real expensive tree to maintain.